Unity 2019.3 was released just for a few days ago and it introduces many changes, new features and improvements that you should know of. So let's check them out. So in this video, I'm mostly going to give you guys a brief overview of what's up. This is basically where I share highlights with you. So we'll go over the blog post and at the same time, I will show you what we're talking about in Unity. I'm an amazing YouTuber. You don't have to repeat that, I know. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to leave a comment on this video and make sure you join our Game Dev Discord server by going to the link in the description below. Also, before we get started, I want to quickly mention that this video is brought to you by 2D Game Assets. 2D Game Assets makes a ton of 2D asset packs for indie-based prices. Some of my most favorite packs include the Game Boy Action Pack and the Cowboy Game Pack. But it's really hard to pick just two or maybe even three and so they made a bundle called Integral Bundle where you get all their assets at a huge discount. This bundle includes 30 game packs ranging from the shooter, cowboy and action assets to medieval, puzzle and adventure packs. All of these game packs combined without the bundle would normally cost you over $100 and you can get it only for $45 by clicking the link in the description and using code PSYCHO. Alright, so for 2019.3, let me get the blog post for you because I'm a nice guy like that. Let's start by checking out the very intro and then I'll start showing you the new features in Engine. They say this, quote, this release features a brand new editor interface, new input system, faster in-editor iteration time, and lots of other improvements. The high definition render pipeline and many 2D packages are now verified for 2019.3. In case you don't know, verified basically means that it is now out of beta or preview packages as what they call it. So let's begin with the first part of the brand new version of Unity tools for artists and designers. You can now create holes, caves, or trenches in your terrains thanks to the newest terrain updates, especially hinting at terrain holes. Terrain holes is now a built-in feature in the terrain painting options, so you can just pick it and paint holes as you wish. I would also suggest that you check out the terrain tools package, which is a super useful set of new brushes and sculpting tools for terrain system in Unity. But more importantly, the brushes are insanely useful and efficient to use for stamping mountains. I also tweeted this last week for Unity tips actually, so follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, at PsychoSam, 10 out of 10 plug right there. <laughs> there are updates to the way presets work, which means that you can now set default presets for just about anything in Unity, including components, import settings, and assets, all without coding. Presets can benefit you in periods where you have repetitive tasks, and my experience so far has been great. They come very handy to use. With scene picking, you can now lock certain parts of your scene so you can focus on what you actually want to update and not worry about making unintended changes. 19.3 also features several new additions to DOTS powered artist tooling, which I'm not going to delve into in this video since DOTS is a whole nother magical realm that's going to take some time explaining here, but I will leave links in the description if you're interested to learn more so make sure to check them out if you're interested after watching the video and now let's get over to 2d tools because that's what everyone loves i mean who, who doesn't like 2d don't comment that they say this quote the new suit of 2d tools makes high-end 2d creation more accessible by bringing new and improved workflows to all creators from individual artists to large teams the following packages are verified to work with Unity 2019.3. The 2D PSD importer, which allows you to import layered Photoshop images directly into Unity, conserving the layer information and sprites, which is particularly useful if you plan to use the 2D animation package. Speaking of which, 2D animation provides all the tooling, sprite rigging, tessellation, bone creation, etc. you need to create skeletal animations right in the sprite editor. Unity now also includes two powerful tools for 2D world building. 2D tile map editor, which makes it easy to create square, hexagonal, and isometric tile maps, and the 2D spread shape, which allows you to create organic spline based 2D terrains and objects. The 2D pixel perfect feature ensures that your pixel art remains crisp and stable in motion at different resolutions, and Cinemachine now includes a pixel perfect virtual camera extension to improve compatibility with 2D pixel perfect. We continue improving our 2D tools, and so this release also contains a preview of new 2D features 
The new 2D lights and 2D shadows are included in the Universal Render Pipeline as part of the 2D Renderer, which I actually have made a tutorial on. You can find the link to that in the description. Secondary textures allow you to add normal maps and mask maps to sprites in the sprite editor to make these game objects react more realistically to 2D lights conditions. With 2D animation sprite swap, you can quickly change a character's appearance while keeping the same rigging and animation, which honestly I think this is a really cool feature. I've tried it myself and it works really, really well and it's just super to use. So, wow, look at that promotion. <laughs> Before recording this video, I was literally telling myself like, don't be biased, Sam, don't be biased. And now that's clearly out of the window. Lost Crypt, a new sample project that showcases this 2D evolution is available to download. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Lost Crypt project so you can download it and take a look at the brand new 2D tools in Unity. As for programmers, there are some changes, there are some interesting things like profiling improvements, dots, game code improvements, and configurable enter play mode. And I'm going to leave links in the description if you're interested in learning more. But for configurable enter play mode, you basically have options such as disabling domain and or scene reloading from the enter play mode processes when there are no code changes. By using these, you will speed up iteration times significantly. Now get your fanboy's voice ready because we're getting to graphics. Oh my god, here we go. The High Definition Render Pipeline, or HDRP for short, is now a verified package for 2019.3 and it's recommended for delivering performant, high fidelity graphics and photorealism on high-end hardware. There are also some, quote, minor changes to HDRP environment settings. And I say minor because like the scene settings game object we used to create before is now called scene and fog volume. Some overrides and setting names have been changed and updated as well. And I call them minor because they don't really change the way any of this stuff works. It's just that the renaming of multiple fields in one version can be a little confusing at first. As you play with the settings though, you get used to them obviously. HDRP now also includes real-time ray tracing features as a preview feature. Ray tracing takes into account the objects in your scene and simulates true light, shadows, and reflections, which in the offline world would require long render times and or big budgets. For more information on ray tracing in Unity, check the link in the description. As you might already know, the Lightweight Render Pipeline, in short LWRP, has been renamed to Universal Render Pipeline, in short URP. I figured this is important enough to mention once again since the rename now applies to the package manager and Unity Hub as well. The visual effect graph package is verified for Unity 2019.3 and integrated with Shader Graph which allows you to easily create high fidelity visual effects. There are also updates to the editor and team workflows. The editor UI has been revamped with new icons, a new font, visual feedback and much more to improve usability and performance. It also supports high DPI display resolutions, which is nice. Quick Search is a new feature which you can use to easily find anything in the editor, including assets, game objects, settings, and even menu items. UI Elements includes several new features that add useful functionality to the USS style sheet. The new UI Builder is a visual authoring environment that lets users access the underlying framework of UI Elements. They have also improved the package manager, including giving you the option to install packages from a Git repository via a URL. Additionally, you can now manage your asset store collection directly through the package manager, which is really nice. I sort of like the fact that they're building things into each other, <laughs> which is gonna sound like funny at first, but what I mean is that they basically integrating features that are similar to each other, like the package manager and the asset store in this case, kind of makes sense to me. As for platforms, the input system is the new standard to integrate device controls in your projects. AR Foundation, the framework that enables you to build your application once and deploy it across AR Kit and AR Core enabled devices, now also extends to Magic Leap and HoloLens devices. There's also HDRP for VR and I just want to drop that there. <laughs> Speaking of devices, there's a new preview package called Device Simulator. It allows you to simulate how your content will look as well as preview the behaviors and some physical characteristics on a broad range of devices. And then with Unity as a library, you can now insert features powered by Unity directly into your native mobile applications. 
And that is pretty much all I have for Unity 2019.3. These are the highlights in my mind, which I think you'll find most useful from the blog post and this release. If you're interested in dots, I assure you, you will find even more useful info in this release document, which is linked in the description. If you have any questions or feel like you need help, make sure to let us know in the comment section and you will get a reply. You should also join our Discord server with a whole bunch of game developers in there to help you and chat to you. We literally can have the most serious Unity related or game, game dev related discussion ever and go to talking about anime and memes in just a second. And yes, we are weeps in there. We're in 2020. You should not be afraid of this. Listen, it's 2020. Who doesn't watch anime? Like my good old friend Abraham Lincoln once said, one day, everyone will watch anime yes that is what he said don't question him so yeah make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and hit subscribe for even more videos and on that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one